We got one move in, but okay. Let's go with a little Virasov. Or see where the game takes us. All right. Um, I guess we will continue on to see what our opponent's going to do. Could have played e4 to go into a perk, but I wanted something a bit different just to see if we can't get a unique position. All right, now it's getting very Joe Baba London-ish, <laughs> you could say. Harder to castle, so maybe g5, but is g5 something that's gonna be weakening or helpful to black in the long term? That's one of those good questions to ask. All right, um, let's go ahead and do e4 now, mostly because if knight h5, I could just go bishop e3, and the knight is not going to be good there, and it's kind of like a weird perk transposition. I don't know if you want this pawn on h6, makes it hard to tuck the nugget away. probably a good move looking to create some action over here I'm gonna castle into it I have some ideas Opponent's taking a lot of time though. That's uh, that's not going to go well for him when we get to about move 24, 25. That seems to be when you're using time like this when it begins to hurt. So just a solid move. King B1. No nonsense approach. Okay. And I feel like b5 was going to be more accurate because now this bishop on this diagonal is going to be good. If he plays b5, I just have the ability to drop back with the b. And my king side is relatively secure, and that gives me a free hand to either punch him in the center at some point or to get this big attack going. I feel like the pieces are starting to get a little bit jumbled. Uh, it's not a positional game. It's an opposite side castling structure, so you need to be using your pawns to come after me. So b5 uh, was the way to go before trying these types of moves. And solid, simple. That was the reason for e4 earlier, so the bishop could drop back. I want to keep the bishop pair in the open position. f3, g4, it's optional. And that's a little bit better on his part. I think how I want to handle this. We'll just go f3 straight away. And much like in the dragon, keep that. g4 would gain a tempo. Let's first complete development, and then we'll make a decision on what to do based off of his next move. Hmm. That encourages me. Uh, 
Uh huh. You were thinking about that too. I thought queen b4 was going to be more accurate for him. Because now I'm getting excellent counterplay. And a common move you want in these situations is bishop d4 just to get rid of his bishop pair. And if we can get rid of the strong dragon bishop, he's in trouble. And as we saw in the previous Sicilian game, if I get the d5 square and it's uncontested, he's going to be in big trouble here. Queen takes d6 being a threat. Didn't do anything about the threat. Pawn in hand. B pawns hit. Bishop f8, rook a6, a7 pawns hit. Let's start cashing in, shall we? And what did I say about move 25? The time pressure was going to hit. That was a couple moves too late. Hard to handle all the weaknesses here. We don't want to do that if he goes there. Or do we? Okay, let's just keep the tension. And I'm preparing to deal with the nonsense. Okay. Decent move. But I want to trade a set so I don't have to worry about the sea pawn ever again. And we'll just renew some threats. Easy enough. Rook takes in between, pawn takes. That works. Went up material, trade down. Oh, we would have had a nice little end game here. But basically what would have happened is trade, trade. Even if he tries to anchor, I am going to get my bishop back somehow. So say here, here, and I can even go here with the idea of playing a3, and then once I get the two to none special, I'm just going to walk with the king up the board. If it was bishop of opposite color, there would be some chances to draw, but I still think the two connected passers should be enough in this position. Being that my base pawn is the opposite color of his bishop, my bishop agrees with the pawns, his doesn't. So same color bishop down a few pawns. You can understand my opponent's resignation. So all right, let's take a look at this. And I decided to go with this type of game. And so we end up getting a transposition anyway. And g5 has been played. And how you would handle this kind of position Same sort of themes. He didn't commit, so we're not looking to push pawns on the king side too much. Hit in the center, following a game by a strong player, John Vanderwill. And notice b5 equal queen a5. You gotta start some initiative. And I was considering playing the e5 move in the event of b5. The idea just going into a slightly better ending. Knight f3. You can play e6 at some point as well. Just a little bit easier for white to play. But no big attack or flashes or flare. That encourages b5. But he ended up going wrong with that. And then this takes an extra move to go knight c4. And I thought about queen e2. But... The problem with it is b5, and then I'm justifying his play. But if I take here, I'm just making his queen move again, and it gives me time to make decisions, which found a good move, found a good move. And what about queen b4? What was wrong with it? e5 immediately. Yeah, looks good. Uh-huh. 
Huh? It liked G4 all throughout, but no reason to rush. And this is where the time pressure started hitting my opponent. Knight takes B4 was definitely a move, but when I can seize the bishop pair, I typically want to. And I mean, it's it's one of those things. It's like, well, why don't you take the pawn here? Because he starts getting some counterplay with that. But then notice the eval change. Like, plus three. I say, okay, we'll trade a set. Still plus three. And now he doesn't have any plans. This, this is one of those things, again, like I've talked about in previous videos, you don't just want to blindly follow the engine's advice, going, oh, first choice, first choice, first choice. No. Um, actually think when you're, you're doing analysis and compare what you're doing to what's recommended by the engine because there is room for debate still. We're not uh, just completely worthless as humans. <laughs> um, knight takes and then rook takes. Forces the ending, which we already talked about. So a little, uh, little something different for you for White's perspective in that game.